One day at the Little Western, Duck and Dawn Douglas were getting ready for their training with Oliver King and Fuming. He was covered in cow feces. Feces. Ooh! Oh, Oliver, you stink. What happened to you? Oh, it's these damn, it is these damn cows again. Me and my driver and father were trying to get them into the, into the cattle trucks. And they throw feces at us with their hoofs. I really smell bad, too. My driving phone did not have enough time to clean me, so they just put. So we, we took them to the farmer and calls farming, as they were becoming too stubborn to get around. Oh, you're probably just seeing them on a bad day. Farm animals are usually really harmless. Hi, I wouldn't say that," said Douglas. Duh, me and Donald have been having these issues with bulls. One bull had butted, butted, butted my fireman right into his backside. He had a clutter bad. He was damaged spleen. He was not even allowed to work for, for a month. So, so then not all farm animals are, are safer to know. Are not friendly. How would all I would you know, Douglas? Oh, I am telling the truth. I am telling you the truth, Duck. They're nothing but a a record nonsense of yours, me. Oh, piss, 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 piss. Now, excuse me, I got to do a brat like me today. Oh, let's really got to bite him back," said Donald. Dr. Ride is the first lady. As he as his passengers got off, Edward was in the yard resting by. Oh, hello, Duck. I see you're pulling your branch line train today. Oh, yes, I am. Nice to see you, Edward. It is a lovely day. Oh, yes, it is. But take my advice. Watch out for Farmer McCall's pigs. They are... They are running loose today. They escaped because the fence was broken from the stormy weather last, last night. Oh, please. I'm sure they're harmless. Oh, don't get too rolled up, duck. Pigs can not have known to eat in a farmer one time. A farmer fell into the pig's pen and they ate him while unaware. Oh, Lord. Oh, please, Edward. I'm sure they are pretty easy animals to, to deal with. Easy to deal with. Trust me, pigs can be very stubborn. You don't know what they're like. Oh, whatever, Edward. The guard blew the whistle and ducks it up. Ooh. Goodbye, Edward. Oh, this is not going to turn out well. The duck arrived at the next station to fill up in water. Toby was there. Oh, hello. Duck, so you're pulling a brush line time. Oh, yes, I am, Toby. Oh, everyone's going, everyone is going on about, about, about farm animals. All of us having issues with cows. Donald and Douglas had, having bad issues, bad issues with bulls. And Edward's telling me about farm and wreck all's pigs have escaped. Oh, I'm sure their pigs are pretty easy to look, to, to deal with. Oh, he says they can be pretty hard. Well, Edward is quite right. They can be pig pigs can be pretty can be pretty stubborn. As a matter of, as a matter of fact, as a matter of, as a matter of fact. 
Oh, how would you do, Toby? Everyone is on my case about farm animals. Excuse me, I have to go. Goodbye, Toby. See you this afternoon. This is gonna... Toby didn't say anything. He just mumbled to himself as... He knew something was gonna happen. Down near the college road... That leads back to the Little West and a bunch of, of the pigs were walking down. They were getting restless. But as they were making their way slowly back to the farm. They saw some weeds on the tracks ahead. As the pigs were hungry. They went to the middle of the track and started nibbling. But unaware that Duck was coming down with his tray. Duck was in the of Suddenly up ahead, ducks are some pigs up ahead. Oh my goodness, there are pigs on the track. No, I must stop, stop, stop. Last shot. There were a bunch of pigs on the tracks. Oh, these are Father McCall's pigs. And it seems to be that they were trying to get their way back to Farmer McCall's farm. Go on, shoot, shoot. I'm trying to get our trade done. Shoot, shoot. The pigs didn't move. Ducks were on the farm and tried to move the pigs themselves, but unfortunately, the pigs squealed and carried on. One pig ate the fireman's hat. It's no good, duck, said the, said the driver. These pigs are too stubborn to move. They're eating the weeds on the tracks here on the gravel. Oh dear, I'm going to be late. The passengers won't like that. So Duck's driver telephoned for help. Both Terrence, Bertie and Trevor arrived to help out with the situations. Terrence helped move, slowly move the pig safely out of the way with his snowplow, without even trying to scare them. They were loaded onto a cart and Trevor took them back to Farmer Cole's farm. Duck's passengers aborted Bertie's Aborted Birdie and Birdie <laughs> drives off, taking to the next destination. Well, well, Doc, smiled Terence. Now you know a little bit more about farm animals, don't you? Doc didn't say anything. He was really embarrassed about the situation. At last, Duck went home. Duck went off to take the, the coaches back to the yard. That evening at the shed, he was feeling rather embarrassed. Toby saw that he wasn't. that how embarrassed he was. I heard you had a bit of an incident with the pigs today. Yes, I did, Toby. And you and. you and Edward and the others were right. Farm animals are not the easiest to please. I am so embarrassed. Oh, that it's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone gets embarrassed now and again. I, I've had a lot, me and Edward had a lot of trouble with cows in the past before. But the best thing to do is just to be aware of it. I remember Daisy having issue with a bull one time. But she was so scared, so scared of it. That we had to go and help fix the situation. Oh, well, that is a no. That's pretty funny. If you if you need help, Doc, just come to me. I will help. I've I have a lot of experience with an, with farm animals. Doc felt better, and he was glad to have a friend to have friends like Edward and Toby. And the twins and Oliver to be there for him in the end. To be there for him.